Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2122. Brand new release. Panini Mosaic Road to FIFA World Cup Soccer. Six box half case pick your team number two. Six box break, all card ship. We sold a combo spot as well. And these are the teams that are featured in the combo. In fact, you'll see it all right here. Big thanks to everybody who bought their spots straight up. Louis, you ended up with that last spot mojo with Portugal. If you got a little rooftop next to your name like Jordan does, that means you won that spot in the filler we did. Um, that was a Mosaic Premier League box. And Craig won the combos right there. Those are the teams involved in the combos. Pretty straightforward. We did the first box, uh, first half earlier today. And here is the second half. All right. Thanks, everybody. Good luck. We are on the road to the World Cup. Um, how brutal, you guys, is this World Cup schedule going to be? It's going to be interesting. So I think I looked at the schedule, and if, I, if you just search uh, World Cup schedule on Google, you sh it should give you the your local time. So the first match, and usually they do the home to home country gets the match all on their own. Excuse me a second. But the first match, usually the country, the host country traditionally gets the match on their own. And I think that's no different for Cutter. All right, anyway, um, so Cutter does get the, uh, the opening match on the 20th, and then another set of matches happens on the 21st. So I'm on the West Coast. I'm in Los Angeles. So the Cutter match is going to be 8 a.m. It's not bad, but since I work weird hours... That's actually quite early for me. England-Iran is the next match after that. That's 5 a.m.? That's kind of rough. There's Manuel Neuer. Nice playmakers autograph for Germany. Wow, that's on a like a slightly thicker cardstock here. That's pretty cool. That is for, uh, for Germany. Jordan. Jordan Ashton with that. Nice. The famous, uh, the famous German keeper. And remember, all cards will ship. Let's see if we can find some uh, some nice numbered cards, maybe for a rookie. It might be where I don't know how many of these rookies. Nice Christian Pulisic. I don't know how many of these rookies are going to end up being like stars in the World Cup. I don't know how many youngsters are getting a run out in the World Cup. Like is Adam Taggart getting some time? But when you get these cards, it's probably worth looking them up. You know, and just seeing, hey, is is this guy going to be playing? Is he starting? You know, maybe he comes off the bench, scores a wonder goal or something like that. You know, so it'd be worth kind of looking that up. And I think that's why it's a, it's kind of, even if you don't know soccer, if you're trying to get into it, it's not bad, not a bad idea getting into one of these breaks. We do have three box random team breaks too. Because you may have like, you know, a nice rookie mosaic parallel of this guy from Ecuador who's going to be playing match one, right? So this is part of the uh, 
This is for Craig in that 15-team combo. I mean, what if he... What position does he play? Center back. I don't know. Maybe set piece. Gets a header. Knocks in a goal. You know, is a goal scorer. 1-0 Ecuador, right? Might be some extra value in that card. There's Ederson for Brazil. All right. All right, next box. Now, full disclosure, I know a lot of you probably saw break one already, but we did the, it says on the side of the box, look for the ultra rare stained glass and overdrive inserts. We did see an overdrive in the first half. So just FYI on that. Yeah, so it looks like, just at a glance, schedule, going back to the schedule, looks like it's going to be, at least for the group stages, a 5 a.m. match, or I guess, I guess 2 a.m., except for the first day, but it looks like it'll be 5 a.m., 8 a.m., 11 a.m., and then 2 a.m., 5 a.m., 8 a.m., 11 a.m. So for the early, for the group stages anyway, it looks like I'm getting two on, like, let's say November 22nd. Be a 2 a.m. game, a 5 a.m. game, an 8 a.m. game, and an 11 a.m. game. I I might see those 2 a.m. games, which probably gets me to 4 a.m. There's gonna be some late nights there. I guess. Well, I don't know if Argentina, Saudi Arabia is gonna keep me up. That's the first 2 a.m. game. That game might be over. That might. That game might be over. Uh, By halftime, I'm not. I'm not waking. So then, I, I mean, I gotta sleep. Right? I'm not seeing a 5 a.m. or 8 a.m. game. Ooh, that's a stained glass. Nice. That's Edison Cavani for Uruguay. Nice. Yeah. He's, I was going to say, he's, he's Uruguayan, yeah. Plays alongside uh, Luis Suarez. It's a pretty dangerous team. That goes to the combo spot, Craig, with that one. Good news for me, though. The first USA match. I'm also kind of... I also like keep an eye on England as well, but... I don't think I'm going to be waking up at 5 a.m. to see England-Iran. England, that should be a comfortable game. But USA-Wales, their first match, 11 a.m. my time. So I'm happy about that. Got Erlen Holland for Norway. That's going to go to Rob. Let's see if we can find some autos or some low-numbered cards of his. That'd be great. What else? When's the next set of matches I want to see? Mexico's an 8 a.m. match. Mexico-Poland. That's going to be a good match. I don't know if I'm going to wake up for that. Wait, what day is the 22nd? Sorry, that matters too. <laughs> November 22nd is a Tuesday. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be getting up at 8 a.m. for that. Although on that day, France, Australia, France, Australia, 11 a.m. I mean, I'll watch it, but just because I'll be awake. 
Ooh, Redemption. Any guesses on that? What are some other interesting early group matches? Mexico, Poland. Maybe I should get up for that. It's pretty interesting. Belgium, Canada. Canada had a great run in, in the CONCACAF qualifying. Uruguay, South Korea. I don't know if I don't know if my parents will be even up for that South Korea game at 5 a.m. Maybe they will. Maybe the group stages aren't aren't super super exciting until the next day. Ooh, nice. Let's get that let's get that done. I, I told everybody I'd be down to do that if that fills. It's only a three box break. It's super fast. Let's show some American bias here. Here's Brian Reynolds for the United States, Darren, with that rookie. And a couple pitch masters right here. All right, it's going to be FIFA Scripts Mosaic, Ivan Perisic. Well, I'm almost certain... Is from is Croatian. He is. Plays for Tottenham as well. The the last World Cup they were in, man. They were they were going into extended time almost every other match, and they they just seemed to never lack for energy. Um, that goes to the combo. That goes to Craig and the combo spot. Next box. I remember that World Cup because Nick and I were uh, every game that it goes, it went to like extra time for the Croatians. We were just like, all right, next match they'll be gassed, they're gonna lose, blah 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 blah, and then they'd win. They went all the way to the final. They lost, but. They went all the way to the final. Lost a lot of money that year. Um, here's a fun match. Group B, match day two of three, England, USA, that's 11 a.m. My time, 11 a.m. Los Angeles, that's a Friday. That's one of my days off, that's Thanksgiving weekend. So yeah, I'll definitely have time to watch that. What other matches? None of these other matches. I guess Netherlands Ecuador could be interesting. Match day two of three. France Denmark should be good. Argentina Mexico. That's L3 versus whatever they, they call themselves in Argentina. Something star related. Um, we'll go through some other matches in the next uh, next box. Is this Lionel Messi's last World Cup? Probably. Spain, Germany on the 27th. That's an 11 a.m. match. Could be Cristiano Ronaldo's last one. Good night, Joe. Good night, guys. See you tomorrow. Good night. Diego saying, would you say uh, since it's Thanksgiving and World Cup week, instead of playing a turkey bowl, play football instead? Yeah, maybe. Instead of a little uh, backyard football, should be a little soccer. We'll change the pace.
same some of these Erlen Hollands too. I think he's not in the World Cup, but I, this might be one of the one of the few Panini sets where he's in a Norway in a Norway shirt. What other matches? Spain Germany on the twenty seventh. That's an eleven a.m. match for me. Portugal Uruguay should be pretty fun. Match day three of three. Wales England is always fun. Poland Argentina. And then you know, and that after those few matches, that'll get us to the uh, that'll get us to the round of sixteen. And there's an American right here, Timothy Weah, Darren with the United States. The United States are in a group, uh, Group B, England, Iran, us, and Wales. Do we get out of that group? I say yes, we do. We get, we get out of that group, right? Stack second behind England, maybe? I feel pretty good about the United States three, four years from, from now. Um, when the World Cup's here in the United States. Ooh, nice. So our last break of the night is going to be those three autograph baseballs. That's going to be a fun way to end it. The American way to end it. What are the odds Luis Suarez bites them again? I, I feel like there's, there's some cheeky uh, sports book, a cheeky bookies in, uh, in the UK that has odds on that. Someone look that up. Was that a Uruguay Italy match? Did he bite an Italian defender? I've got to find parallels in this guy. What are the odds that a uh, that the cutter team advances out of their group? Historically, even with historically non, you know, kind of large or big footballing clubs, that they do find themselves winning a match or two, surprising some people. Sometimes getting out of the group unexpectedly. He bit Cialini. So it just and then there was uh, Zidane many moons ago who who headbutted another Italian defender, right? I mean, Italians have a, have a way of getting under people's skins. And we've got for Espana, we've got Jeremy Pino. Rookie autograph for Diego and Spain.
There you go. Mosaic Cristiano Ronaldo could be his last one. Louis with Portugal. Probably his last one. Right? He's like what, 30, 37? How old is Cristiano Ronaldo? Cristiano is 37, yeah. I'd be I'd be shocked if he does another World Cup. Cristiano Ronaldo still looks pretty good for 37. You think he does another World Cup? Turns 38 in February. He 41 years old in the summer, four years from now. I think something like that. Ooh. But, I mean, in the United States, it's a big stage. Two more boxes to go. The one in front of us and the one back there. And then we are done. We got numbered cards not too common. Two out of 99. There's Dehan Kulusevski uh, for Sweden. That's part of uh, the big 15-team combo. That's going to be for Craig. Which may mean that numbered cards may be a little bit more valuable than, than usual. Reds are not numbered, just double checking. Second half. Really was hoping we'd see some Erlen Holland parallels. And Jens Lehmann, the, uh, another keeper, another German keeper for Jordan and Germany who won that team in the filler. Not bad. I think we got a numbered card here. We've got. 8 out of 49, Denzel Dumfries. Rookie card for the Netherlands. That's for Matt Arnold. Again, like I was saying earlier, not sure how many of these rookies are, are going to be getting a lot of playing time in the World Cup. But if he, I'm just one to hold on to, and if he does and does well on the biggest stage in world football. You know, there, there may be a lot of people looking for his stuff. Last box. Last box of break two, break three, half case from a fresh case. Let's keep let's keep rolling on the road to the World Cup. Take two. Let's keep rolling on the road to the World Cup. Three, two. Let's keep rolling on the road to the World Cup.
Let's keep rolling on the road to the World Cup. Let's keep rolling on the road to the World Cup. Let's keep rolling on the road to the World Cup. Let's keep on trucking on the road to the World Cup. Keep your eyes on the road to the World Cup. You keep your eyes on the road, right? Keep your eyes on the road to the World Cup. We got uh, Josip Juranovic, 76 out of 99 for Croatia. That's for the combo. All right, second half. <laughs> not on repeat. I'm just I'm just trying out different different little phrases, Rex. It's called rehearsal, Rex. It's called being a pro. And keeping your eyes on the World Cup. And keeping your eyes on the World Cup. <laughs> and the autograph is Emiliano Martinez for Argentina. That is for Matt Arnold. Low number two, three out of ten. It's pretty good. And more gold? Yes. Jeremy Doku. Six out of ten for Belgium. Craig. Nice. Like like seeing these low number parallels here in this last box. How low can you go? All right. That's almost that, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. We've got plenty of soccer to do on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Keep it going. And thanks for taking a ride with us on the road to the World Cup.